Sons and Daughters of God for May 9th. The reading is entitled, In Communion with God. The scripture reading is taken from Matthew 14, 23. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. The strength of Christ was in prayer. Christ retired to the groves or mountains with the world and everything else shut out. He was alone with his Father. With intense earnestness, he poured out his supplications and put forth all the strength of his soul in grasping the hand of the infinite. When new and great trials were before him, he would steal away to the solitude of the mountains and pass the entire night in prayer to his heavenly Father. As Christ is our example in all things, if we imitate his example in earnest, importunate prayer to God, that we may have strength in his name, who never yielded to the temptations of Satan to resist the devices of the willy fool, we shall not be overcome by him. Amid the perils of these last days, the only safety for the youth lies in ever-increasing watchfulness and prayer. The youth who finds his joy in reading the word of God and in the hour of prayer will be constantly refreshed by drafts from the fountain of life. He will attain a height of moral excellence and a breadth of thought of which others cannot conceive. Communion with God encourages good thoughts, noble aspirations, clear perceptions of truth, and lofty purposes of action. Those who thus connect themselves with God are acknowledged by Him as sons and daughters. They are constantly reaching higher and still higher, obtaining clearer views of God and of eternity until the Lord makes them channels of light and wisdom to the world. The strength acquired in prayer to God will prepare us for our daily duties. There is a mighty power in prayer. Our great adversary is constantly seeking to keep the troubled soul away from God. An appeal to heaven by the humblest saint is more to be dreaded by Satan than the decrees of cabinets or the mandates of kings. Thank you for listening.